find the limit, the function, x minus x to the minus 4 thirds over x to the minus 2 thirds minus x to the minus 1 third as x goes to plus infinity and minus infinity. My first step is to get rid of all the negative exponents. So how do I do that? I look at all my terms, take a look at each negative exponent. I want the negative exponent with the largest absolute value. In this case, that's x to the minus 4 thirds. So that's what we're going to target. It's going to multiply by x to the 4 thirds over itself. That's going to guarantee that all the exponents are going to change from negative to either 0 or positive. Okay, let's see what happens. So we multiply top and bottom by x to the 4 thirds. I'm going to get x to the 7 thirds minus 1 over x to the 2 thirds minus x. Now, my lead terms for numerator and denominator are going to be x to the 7 thirds and minus x. Okay, note the exponent of x is a 1, and 1 is bigger than 2 thirds. From here, there are two directions we can go in. First, the quick and dirty way. Here, I'm going to take the lead terms, throw away all the rest of the terms. That leaves me with x to the 7 thirds over minus x. Now, that's going to collapse to minus x to the 4 thirds. Take the limit as we go to plus infinity. Here, we have x to a positive exponent, so that's going to go to plus infinity. There's a minus sign in front, so that switches the limit to minus infinity. So that's our answer, minus infinity. As we go out to minus infinity in x, we note x to the one-third. Okay, x to the one-third, when I put a negative number in, a negative number comes out. So as I take the limit as x goes to minus infinity, that's also going to go to minus infinity. But we're going to take a fourth power, so that changes that minus sign to a plus. So again, we have a plus infinity, but the minus out in front is going to change it to minus infinity. So both limits are going to go to minus infinity. So how do we do this the careful way? Let's take a look at the lead terms and the numerator and the denominator. So here, 7 thirds is bigger than 1. So I'm going to divide by the smaller of the two. So we'll divide by x in the numerator and denominator. Same as multiplying by 1 over x. What's that going to turn into? In the denominator, I'll have minus 1 plus 1 over x to the 1 third. And then in the numerator, I'll have x to the 4 thirds minus 1 over x. As x goes to plus or minus infinity, 1 over x goes to 0, 1 over x to the 1 third goes to 0. So what I'm going to be left with is taking the limit as x goes to plus or minus infinity of minus x to the 4 thirds. And we just saw how to do that in method 1. So again, our answer is limit goes to minus infinity in both cases.